What's going on everyone? Guys, gals, hope you're all doing really good. So I want to show you all a really good beginner's mushroom book. This is one that I started off with. This was my very first mushroom foraging book. It's a really, really good one that I can highly recommend for beginners. So, let's readjust the camera so I can do this a little easier. Now, as you guys can see, it says Missouri's Wild Mushrooms, but it pretty much covers most mushrooms you're going to find in the Midwest, some in the Northeast. It's really guided for Missouri. When I got it, I lived in Missouri, but I use it here in Arkansas as well. It works great. And it was, I think it was like 30 bucks on Amazon, but I bought it through the Missouri Conservation website, and it was like, I think it was 18 bucks, and I think I got free shipping on it. I will try to find it again. It's been about eight years since I bought this, or I've had it for eight years now, so let's go over this book but yeah I will link it below in the description if I can find it on Missouri's website you can get it cheaper on there but it's a really really excellent field guide book it's a little heavy it's got some heft to it it goes over edible mushrooms poisonous ones gives you really excellent pictures as you can see on the front cover it's got a really good picture of an oyster mushroom and most of the pictures in here are really big like this and glossy and really well defined and as you can see there's also recipes in the back we'll go over that in a minute but let me the book is made by the author Maxine Stone but let's just go and find a few this all this in the beginning here is just like introduction all that good jazz background on the author all that stuff but this goes over the parts of a mushroom the cap the stem the rings on them all that good stuff uh, it goes over like equipment you you can use the different kind of bugs that you're going to encounter different seasonal tips stuff like that and here it's going to go over it's going to start going over poisonous common poisonous mushrooms in Missouri I'll just give you guys a quick look at that this is a big book so it's kinda hard to get the whole thing in frame this is gonna go over a false morel here's section two this one's called identification basically it's gonna go over how you identify a mushroom and then it gives you another section mushroom groups by shape and then it goes over like the caps and the shape of the mushroom. And as you can see there, it's really detailed. It's really easy to follow. It tells you even how to you how to take a spore print of a mushroom. Here it's going to give you edibility terms, symbols, all the symbols in the book the like edibility level as you can see right here it's going to start going over guild cap mushrooms here and more information on them so I'm just going to show you a few little this one's called the meadow mushroom and it is going to say edibility it's a choice edible with caution because there is a deadly poisonous look-alike it tells you when to find it what it looks like the look-alikes all that good stuff and there's a picture of it as you can see it's a really high quality picture ringless honey mushrooms I find those all the time see like I said it you really will find these in different states I'm in Arkansas now but I still find these so these are going to be common throughout most of the Midwest. Let me skip to a different section. 
And here's a, well, let's just show this real quick. See how it's got the little poison icon next to it, letting you know it's poisonous. A nice picture of it. Alright, here's a different section. This is going to go over caps with pores. Many of your Belit mushrooms. And it goes in depth talking about them. All that good stuff. Again, ash tree Belites are very edible. Though they don't classify it as a choice, but they are edible. And it shows you what they look like. Trying to get my flash glare off of the pages so you can see the pictures better. Two colored belit, not poisonous, just saying not recommended to eat. Alright, here's another section. Polypores, again, but this is a different section of them. As you can see on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a really choice edible. Hen of the Woods, we all know this one. It's a really choice edible mushroom. Berkeley's Polypore. It's edible. I have found those before. I've never tried them, but I have seen them here in Arkansas. Cauliflower Mushroom. Another edible one. I've never tried. I have seen those. Black Stain and Polypores. I have seen those. have not tried them. Not considered a choice edible. See how it goes? There's little icons in each section going over different types of mushroom families. Now you're going to get into your vase type shaped mushroom in this section. Like your chanterelles, black trumpets, stuff like that. As you can see here's the chanterelle, which is a choice edible and they are very good. The cinnabar chanterelle. But yeah. There's a little icon for that section. It's a very good book, guys. Here's Black Trumpets. These are really, really good. I have had those before. They are excellent flavor. Uh, almost considered a choice edible by the book. That's your Smooth Chanterelle. That is one I found last year, last year here in Arkansas. And I tried it, and it was really, it was excellent. It was a really good taste of mushroom. Another different... Here's your club morels and false morels. Here's the icon for that section there. Type of false morel there. I've never seen those. I've never found any type of false morel mushrooms. And here's your really good choice morels, black morels. I've found them and tried them. They are less flavorful than a yellow morel. Yellow morels are excellent in flavor, I feel. They're the best tasting ones. As you can see, really good detailed pictures of everything. A really good overview. Going in the exact details of everything. Your spore print, all of that stuff. Really, really excellent book. So let's jump to... You got tooth fungi like your... Lines, means, and stuff like that, which are choice edibles as well. Coral mushrooms. I've never tried those, but some of them are supposedly really good. Uh, column mushrooms. Stink horns. I can't believe that. I would never eat those things. They stink really bad. I have found them. They're common. They're nasty, supposedly. And they stink really bad. Just based on the smell alone, I would not eat those things. I'm trying to get to jelly fungus like your woodier, uh, amber jelly rolls, uh, pale jelly rolls, just butter. There's a nice detailed picture on that. Now, here's the last section of the book. Really neat section. Gives you sub area of what page the recipe is on for each mushroom type we'll just find one here uh here's a black trumpet here you go it even gives you pictures of what it looks like after you cook it butternut squash soup with black trumpet that actually is probably pretty good look chanterelle and polenta foil packs really awesome Really love how it tells you the layout. 
on it, how to prepare it, what you'll need, all that good jazz. So let's see what else is in here that we want to go over real quick. It also tells you how to, look at that, pickled hens. <laughs> Shows you a pickle jar, how to pick oysters, Rockefeller. Yeah, a different kind of oyster Rockefeller. Oyster mushrooms. That might be interesting to try sometime. All right, let's see here. And then just goes over to glossary. All that more good stuff. Really good book. Let's see how many pages. And here's another subsection. Choice. Goes over to choice edibles. Excellent ones. Good ones. This is at the end of the book. Edible ones. And then it was going to show you not edible not recommended and then it's probably going to poisonous and deadly ones really good really nice let's see how many pages we have we even got a little section so you could write in it so we got a total of 187 pages like I said this is a fairly big heavy book and really well detailed and laid out I really enjoy this book I really recommend it for new mushroom hunters it's well worth the money it's gonna help you a lot but yeah guys sometimes I get questions of people asking me and through private messages about this type of thing what book would I recommend and I feel any mushroom hunter could have this book in their collection it's excellent it's really really good for a beginning mushroom hunter I know I keep saying that but it is really good and I can highly recommend it if you're new to forage and mushrooms but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this again I will link below in the description wherever I find it the cheapest I will link it on Amazon if they still carry it and I'll put that in there as well just in case somebody wants to buy it through Amazon. I am not affiliated with any of these companies. I do not get anything if you were to click the link and buy it. With that said, I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.